Hey everybody, Skids Tweak here, making a video on the new Debugs 2.0. What is Debugs? Debugs is a single script you can drop in any object and allows you to visually see all the different events that fire. Not only that, it gives it shows you what parameters were passed and such. This is absolutely fantastic for debugging your scripts, finding mistakes that you don't know exist because you could never see this kind of information before and throwing it in other people's stuff and kind of reverse engineering to see exactly how they do what they do. So let's drop it out here. This is the box you get and when you drop it out the first thing you'll see is you get this URL. That's what happens when you drop the script in something but the script's already inside here so it's it's kind of like trying to debug your box. You also get a join request for the group and if you got room I highly recommend you join us. I'm going to unpack it, right click, open, copy to inventory, and we're on our way. Okay, we got it unpacked. Let's take a look and let me show you exactly how this works. First thing you got to do is find something really cool to throw it in. I happen to be wearing my wardrobe masters. So let's use it. I'm going to touch it, unminimize it. There we go. And to use debugs, all I do is I right click edit and drag the script into, whoops, I got a crappy mouse. Drag the script in there and see right away it's giving me this URL. So let's open that URL up. When you open it up, you'll see a list of all the different events that fire off over here. And you can click on each one of those to see a little bit more detailed information. Collision events don't really have that much information. Tell you the truth, I don't like to see collision events. With HUDs, when you walk around, you get collision events. So what, what's one to do about all that? Let's filter them out so we don't see them anymore at all. To do that, I'm just going to click these minus buttons. I'm filtering out collision end collision and now let's filter out collision start now let's clear everything and now we will no longer get those events let's take a look go ahead and refresh go on there we go nothing so great we filtered out all the collision events let's click some buttons and see what kind of cool events we can see fire off um, I'm going to put on this Type 23 outfit. Oh, I'm naked. Close your eyes, ladies. And now let's take a look at the browser again. You can see we got all kinds of events that went off. There's the, This is where I touched it. Here's a linked message that went through there. Um, an HTTP response. Here's where an object rest. Um, and you can click on each one of these, get a little bit more details over here. You can see this is all the parameters that were passed in right there when that event fired. And I actually give you a little bit additional information like the name of the object that was rezzed and what position it was it rezzed to. You can also click the object res wiki button. This takes you right to the wiki page for that event so not only is this for the professional scripter this is great for if you're just learning to script as well great way to uh, read up on each event and kind of learn about them let's go back over to it what else can we do over here we got this refresh button on the toolbar you can see every few seconds it's actually every six seconds it's refreshing. It's grabbing more information from the HUD. But nothing's really coming through because we're not doing anything. So I'm just going to turn off the auto refresh right there and it'll no longer refresh it. I can also go to manual refresh and just refresh it only when I want the information, more information to come in. I can clear everything out. I showed that kind of earlier. We can even start listening events. So I want it to start listening on channel one. So I'm going to put in a one there. Let's go back into Second Life and say something on channel one.
And now let's go back to the browser and see if it picks that up. Oh, I got to refresh it manually because I turned off auto refresh. And you can see right there, this is that event firing whenever I said that. So it's now listening on channel one and it picked up when I said it. And that's the event that fired off. Um, you also got this themes button over here. I can change between all the different themes we have. Um, I tell you what, guys, honestly, I use this tool every day and I couldn't do some of the amazing things I do with scripts without such a tool as this. So if you're a scripter, new to scripting, professional, this is something you'll definitely want to get. And that's debugs. If you got any questions, problems, or suggestions, give me a holler. My name's Skid Weekend World, and until next time, happy building!